Basically, uh, well, how's the tour been? Like, so far, I presume it's going quite well now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this sort of package. Smelly, greasy, and perfect. <laughs> good. Nice. Yeah. A lot well, of booze, good shows. Hell yeah. Good crowds. Yeah. So Good fucking crowds. A lot of cool people on the road. Did you just come over from... Uh, did you just do Russia? Uh, London yesterday, London and then we came yesterday. from uh, two shows in Italy. Then we had uh, uh, Mun uh, Munich in uh, Germany, and we had Zurich oh, yeah. in uh, Switzerland, and um, Antwerp. Antwerp in Belgium, and Tilburg. Tilburg. Death yeah, Death Fest oh, in uh, Tilburg the day before. It, it, it was suffocation that played in. Uh, it was just a tour. Yeah, uh, okay. so 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 I'm like having uh, things worked. Uh, um, uh, how, how do you well do you know the other guys, like the other bands? Uh, uh, oh, pretty well. well. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you're all good friends. Yeah, yeah. cool motherfuckers. I give a hate each other. No, no way, man. I've yeah. never met him before, but you know, we're doing friends now. And yeah, have a good time. Yeah. And er everybody on the bus has been like the coolest people, especially um, like when Suffocation came on, they were just, they came in, they came in with a big smile and just brought the, like, the, not the tension, but you know what I mean? The, um, Happiness. The feeling of the bus got yeah. even better. So, yeah. Okay. Um, how was? I mean, you've turned to London. How how has that been? How's the UK been so far? Really? Uh, second day today. So how how was getting into the UK? It's uh, I've had some trouble. I've brought some bands over before. Customs within a bit. No, no, it was okay. Last night was fucking. Awesome, man. We should play people. Yeah, crowded. You know, stage diving and fucking yeah, wash so bullets. It's good. So, Underworld is always good. We've played there before, so I've seen a lot of good, good shit with that. So, okay. Um, what's after this tour? Like, what's next step? Uh, we're actually going to do a live TV. Really? Back home in oh, Norway. In April. Yeah. Yeah. Post. Uh, from Denmark. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, we're going to do a TV and uh, then it's Hellfest. I think it's going to be in France in June. I just saw it now, I didn't realize you were playing. So yeah. I, didn't, well, I think this is probably the one year I'm not going as well. Mother Throne and Guns N' Roses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Motley Crue. Yeah. Well, you should, what you should do is, as Guns N' Roses, Axel won't recognize you. So, like, if you guys start going on as his backing band, he's got no idea what else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, you just go on behind him really quietly. <laughs> It'll be fun, though. We hope, we hope. We want to, and we hope that some English or uh, UK festivals book us too, but they, you know. Call us. Yeah, well, you want to get back here? I'll shout at um, guys from Bloodstock. I made that L1 or 2 and then I'll just yeah. harass them repeatedly if you want. Bloodstock is the best fucking thing. Yeah. We won't be there, so. I just talked to a guy last night and he's going to really push, so. Hopefully. Yes, yes. Alright, um, I was going to ask about how that's done for you, but that's fine. Uh, Last year you were in America a couple of times. Yeah. Um, how is that? Because I always like to get a feel like European bands touring America because it. They don't have showers. <laughs> <laughs> no showers. No, that was amazing. You know, first time we went it was like six weeks with the dinner burger and yeah. it was just crazy. We played the biggest venues and uh, so crowded. So that was yeah one of the highlights in my career. So yeah. yeah. And we went back last year with the grave. That was also fucking crazy. So, yeah. a bit smaller venues, but uh, big crowds. Yeah, big crowds. Smaller yeah. venues, but a lot of drinking. You know, it's only like it. See, I, everyone badmouths American beer. I just think they're drinking the wrong yeah. stuff. Uh, tastes <laughs> like fucking water. How about the cup American <laughs> beers? You got to find they're really nice. Just don't drink Budweiser. Yeah, no, nothing on draft. The check is Budweiser. Don't, drink, don't drink, drink anything on draft in America. Yeah. It's, it, it is just water with flavoring. Yeah. Horrific shit, you know. It's really oh. sugar. So we just, we just drink hard liquor anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <what we're fucking laughs> you say while drinking beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Heineken, you know. <laughs> and this is free. We have always we have no tequila one. tonight, so <laughs> no oh, worry. <laughs> Rum, tequila, whiskey, vodka. It's it's all good. I'm getting down. God, I hate tequila. <laughs> Bad times. <laughs> Can't drink it. Uh, you talking about uh, other bands. Who who been your favorite favorites to tour with? Yeah. Well, I mean, um, these guys didn't tour with the band for so long. Yeah. Since I started the band, but uh, 
band, I have to say. Some Cation, they're fucking great. One of my yeah. favorite thing bands, and they're so cool. So, yeah, yeah. suffocation. Of course, Dino Bunger, great guys. I know those guys, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they're quite a bigger band, and you're going to see it myself when I'm doing this tour, so. So, suffocation has just been like. One of the guys. You know, yeah. Been, yeah. No attitude. No fucking attitude. No rock stars. They're just. Yeah. They're metal. And they drink. And they're yeah, with us. Like that. Okay. That's good. Good. Um, so I'm moving on from like you know, live stuff. Um, so maybe the live and you joined two years. Yeah, 2010. What? Uh, so when did you join the band? Yeah. Cool. Me or. Uh, uh, I mean, Oh me, yeah. Shit, man, I've been in What's the band. What's your name? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> <Then> move on. <laughs> I've been in the band uh, like uh, two years now. How you find that? I mean, uh, you, you can fucking tell me different. Comes, you know, agent. I got five, got five musicians with us here, and uh, everybody's on on the fucking line, you know, and I ain't got anything. To do. <laughs> I mean, how did? All you guys come to join Blood Red Throne bit by bit because I know you since like 2010 you've like we've done the entire lineup and we've all joined yeah. bit by bit. Like I know you've all come from different bands, but how do you all meet? Well, we got together? Ingrid right here. We picked him up on fucking uh, human trafficking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to do something here, you know. <laughs> uh, I'll, I joined. Um, I played some gigs with uh, Daniel, my old band. And his other band, we played some gigs a couple years ago. I played some gigs with uh, Elon's other band a couple years ago. We've been uh, staying uh, in touch, and then one day he uh, posted on uh, heavymetal.no in Norway that they needed a new singer for Blood and Throne, and I wrote him, and I got the gig in, in December. Cool. Uh, got it almost the same way, just less competition for him though. <laughs> Yeah, how did you join? I found him on YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You <laughs> through YouTube. Yeah, actually. yeah, I actually did. I searched for uh, the videos. So I yeah, after one day I just uh, thought for myself, oh fuck, I don't know what to do today, man. I'm <laughs> fucking bored. Oh, I know this song, "Rip Soul Resentment" by Blood Red Throw. Holy oh, shit, that's a good song. And I uh, started recording it with my. Uh, I can at home. <laughs> Put it up on YouTube. And uh, a few months later, got a mail from uh, Daniel. Did you, did you believe it was him or were you sad? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> at first, I was like, this is, uh, this is not. Just call all your friends saying, all right, which one of you sent the email? Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there was no, no doubt in my mind. He was the right guy. He's good. Fucking skilled and you know, dedicated and no problems. So it's, it's perfect. Because I mean, I, I've been a fan for a while. I was watching, you know, people leave and you were getting a bit worried. And then you kept like posting, we found this person, sorted. And it was, it was really simple. It was just like, found someone, go. There was not, no messing about it. It was just. He booked this tour or it we joined this tour before we got into the band. <laughs> Hell yeah, because I, 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 I was fucking doing this tour anyway with suffocation. Yes, mm. I'll find people. <laughs> Don't you worry. So, no pressure on you at all, man. Uh, <laughs> no. Never, <laughs> never pressure. We just do what we do, you know? Alright, um, talking about uh, the new album. Um, I've been getting, I've generally seen nothing good reviews for it, which is always what you want. Uh, I think I'll ask why why the change in the logo? Why why go back to the, the spikier, nasty death metal logo? Because the label asked to. Really? There was actually a demand, you know, for us signing with that label, so they're kind of into old school stuff, you know, and all the bands have, you know, logos in a fashion way. So I didn't know yours is one of more readable uh, logos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a good it's a good logo. I like the, the nastiness of it. But you can at least read it still. It's a good point to read it. You know, it's cool to bring back to the old logo, I think, you know. Yeah. Isn't that the original Blood Red Drone logo? That's the original, yeah. So we didn't, yeah, it's not a new one, it's yeah. back to basics. Yeah. yeah. I did wonder, I mean, I, like you said, right, you know, they, they, they have a lot more like old school style. Like, how would you guys, in particular, I think it's quite good with, you know, you all being sort of newish members. How would you describe the sound? Because me and my friends were arguing, like, you know, for one thing, oh, he's like, oh, it's really old school 90s death metal. I was like, is it? 
It's really because it's, <laughs> I find it's a lot more like precise and more new school sound. And we just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We just combination. Yeah, yeah. We, we just make it sound like that. <laughs> now you wrote, like, you know, it's inspired, you know, by the 90s stuff, of course, but uh, you want to hang out in modern times, so of course there's a combination. And also the live show, I think we try to bring in more of more show to death metal, you know. The aggression, you know, it's that it's all about, you know, aggression, you know, being yeah. fucking drinky balls out there <laughs> drinking. You know, don't forget drinking, man. <laughs> we're we're not about death, we're about metal, you know. Bringing the fucking attitude. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Capital metal, small death. Yes. I went, I don't start using that now, I said that's how you tell Um I was gonna say what were the sort of influences on new record? Yeah. Well, so, like always, the good music, you know, good bands, touring, great bands. You know, basically, listening to good records and be inspired by that, go to concerts, whatever. I mean, you guys, as a group, go back and listen to the old stuff a lot, right? focusing more on what I'm saying is, like, how much do you really go back and listen to your own albums? I mean, now that, you know, say you guys are all in the band, this is your band. How much do you go back and listen to that? Stuff? <laughs> yeah. Damn. I have to be honest, I, I don't do too much. But I'm done an album, I'm kind of finished. Yeah. Me, of course, it's on you and I have to learn all the songs. <laughs> I have been yeah. listening to more Blood Artron than anybody in the world, I think, the last couple of months. It's <laughs> death now, you can get away with faking and some of the lyrics occasionally. Um, in this band, they're pretty, they're pretty noticeable in this band, but occasionally I think you can fake it. You can easily fake it all, but I don't want to. I want to um, I wanna, I wanna do right. And also, I, I, I've been listening to, since October, since he posted the uh, message about new vocalists, I've been listening to Blood Ratron every day at work, eight hours every fucking day since October. So I, I really, I felt I needed to, not only to learn the songs, but to make it, you know, like, a part of me. Yeah. So I... Go get the mind, mindset. Yeah, and also so that when I'm on stage doing the other vocalists, the stuff, I don't, I don't want to perform anybody else's songs, you know. But by now, for me, it's my songs. In my head, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's supposed to be, you know? Yeah. And what do you guys do outside the band? Did you mention the work? Thank you. Carpenter, Bill Howard. I listen to music. Myself, I'm a machine technician, you know, so. Metal. Nice. Gotta make yeah, some yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. We're not sure. rock stars yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have half and half job. Half the year I'm uh, in carpeting, half the year I work stage work and with bands going around. Like, isn't that around here? Judas Priest. Nice. Worked with them two times last year. Right? And that's that's what I think is cool to like be in a band doing the band stuff and also being like building up the bands and working for them and just being around my idols, you know. Like you keep working in metal when you're not doing metal. Like yeah, and also to still try to keep like keep the fan perspective and also doing the music, you know? because there's there's no metal people, there's no metal bands that aren't fans, you know. Yeah. We're all here because of all the bands we love, you know. Exactly. And it's like who are we just with? Uh, yeah, Cannibal Corpse. They were like they're going on tour now in the UK, you know, with Triptych, Jump yeah. for Cabo, and Enslaved, and they were like fuck. We're going to on the same bus as Tom T, you know, and that's I just loved seeing that. Like exactly. for me, Cannibal Corpse is gods, you know, and they're stoked about being well around with Tom T, you know. So I, went, uh, I met his arm at uh, Hellfest uh, yeah. a couple of years back, and yeah, you know, I met a lot of bands from doing this, but that was one of the few times I went. I just froze up. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It, it still happens, you know. You never really get over meeting your heroes. No matter who you are. Even Maiden has gods, you know. So, yeah. yeah. It's important, it's important to keep the fan aspect of it. That's what gives you inspiration. Exactly. There's still human beings, you know, just the right to music. And, yeah. Yeah. There is that's, that. That's power. what I enjoy. It's like, you, you think, you know, just, just people, not stars, not like famous pop stars, but still a part of your things. Oh, hell yeah, of course, you have respect and all that shit, but, you know, it's still human beings. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, I was going to ask, uh, who decided to do the Pestilence cover on the last album? Who decided to do that? We decided to do it. Yeah. Is that yours did? Yeah. All right. I want to get, what do you think of the last two Pestilence albums? Controversial question, because I know... The last two? Pestilence albums. Pestilence albums. The new ones. I'm a fan of Pestilence, so I, I, I like it. Yeah, like I do, I have to say. But of course, 
I like the old customs. Yeah. But uh, I think it's cool. They have their own style, their own sound. It's nice to see them coming back. I mean, it is. Great surprise. Um, any guy, bands that you guys would recommend? I don't know, yeah, because I think it's always nice to you know, have the site and you don't have to give a shout out to different bands or. Mention some Norwegian bands. Oh, Go on, man. Go on, man. Check out. Um, check out Lowdown. It's a good fucking band. Hellish Outcast from Bergen. They played Bloodstock here last year, too. Also, uh, also check out uh, Horizon of Blaze. <laughs> My old death muscle band. <laughs> yeah. 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 Your band? <laughs> yeah, check out Feed the Stench, dudes. That's right. Because what we'll do is we'll, we'll link to them as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it's just always nice to have recommendations from you guys. Just people might not have heard or have missed out on. Um, I think, yeah, probably best to call it there. I don't want to keep you guys uh, too long. I think that's most of the questions. Uh, any parting words? Anything you want to like say to people to drink hard, motherfucker? Tens, tens of people who will see this video. Drink, rape, and steal. <laughs> in, in that order. <laughs> 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 drink, rape, and steal. Join us next time.